it seemed to come in the middle of the night. In his dreams it dove into his flesh, ate him alive, and he would faint and he'd writhe, eating his insides like a portal of death. It took him nine months of the knife before he came out pale and lithe, as if gutted of life, and laid out on the dissection table. In troubled awakenings I see him pass. Mama bent double, if only she were able to switch places with him there. And even as she watches, something in the air lifts, and she becomes thirty-one again, her son in her arms, third-born and smiling, in spite of the shortness of his time, a thing not quite right in his makeup. And he's eighteen, saying, God save me, to a mother without those higher powers. And at his bedside she gave me, a look as if she had said he painted everything dark in a coat of shimmering, and dullness had taken its place. All shine had shone from his features, and all the fullness had gone from his face. Eight years on, my side is never left weightless. His phantom still straggles behind, and much as I try to forget him, the wanton rules over my mind. One day I will find myself on my deathbed and feel his hand on mine like we are young again.